Greetings. My name is Dr. Waddell Brooks, Sr., your host, and this is Community Focus. Ladies and gentlemen, we're very fortunate again to have with us uh, Brother Willie Brooks. Uh, he is a person that you should know. He's an entrepreneur from Zion, Illinois, and he's also a community activist in uh, Lake County. And we're going to be talking about the solutions to youth development. And Brother Willie has been talking about um, uh, the problems in previous programs, but he has some solutions that he wants to share with Lake County. Good morning, Brother Willie. <clears throat> Good morning, Mr. Brooks. We're very happy that, again, you've taken time from your busy schedule to be with us on Community Focus. Uh, you're talking with Lake County, which is approximately, oh, 750,000 people, uh, but I don't know how many up at 5 o'clock this Sunday morning listen to the program. I understand we, we have a, a pretty good audience. Uh, you are also an, an elder uh, also. Uh, you and your wife both um, uh, uh, elders in, in the church. So you have a great uh, knowledge of what uh, young people need uh, uh, to be successful. Uh, but tell us a little bit about... Um, I don't know your your solutions uh, to to youth development. Well, we and me and you, you and I have talked many, numerous times about uh, solutions. Uh -huh. we, we talk about who who's not doing, who's doing, and all that. This summer, uh, this last, I've been in the park uh, doing outreach for the last two summers uh -huh. in Zion, Illinois. This year, God gave me two two assignments. One is to bring the senior citizens back out of the caves, the locks in buildings, and bring them back out of the house and bring them to the park. Okay. So I, I came up with a do an ice cream social. Mm. And I'd done an ice cream social and brought seniors back to the park. I had a band, and I gave them away free ice cream, ice cream social. That mm -hmm. was in August. Mm -hmm. And I'd done that and brought them about over 100 seniors out to the park to enjoy a band on a sunny afternoon uh, with, with ice cream, listen to a band, and communicate with other seniors. Uh -huh. And uh, now we finished that was a good uh, good outing. And then he gave me uh, to bring the youth. God cared about two things. He cared about the widows and he cared about the children. Okay. I noticed that the children in the park in the communities now have no summer break. They have no vision of uh, their basketball. Their future is basketball. I'm gonna get the NBA or football. Okay. But they don't they don't realize the price been paid for their future. I, so I took I came up with a I was gonna take them to. Uh, See, if they know, they don't know, they t we don't teach their past anymore. We don't teach history, mm. black history. So I came up with, I'm going to take them to Chicago to the Savo Museum, which is a black history museum on the south side. When I went and researched black, uh, the Savo Museum, I said that would, wouldn't be enough. So I hired a tour guide, a tour guide to take me to, to, uh, to show us the Savo Museum, and take us, she took us to 50 other locations in Chicago. In wow. Chicago, and told us our history with the Underground Railroad, how money was taken, how we came here, how the projects were built off our backs, and they put three uh, thirty thousand people in a four block square uh, area. We learned. We went went to Obama's house. We seen Obama, uh, other houses, Muhammad Ali and uh, Louis Farrakhan. We seen all of them stay a block apart. We understood how. No one's ma really making own blacks are do not own property downtown. In Chicago right now, uh, uh, Jet Magazine, uh, Johnson, he's the last one, own property, own his own business with property. They mm -hmm. may have a business in a building, but they don't own property anymore. Okay. From everyone. So we learned quite a bit. The children, the young men, I took 31 young men, and it was eight adults, and we had a good time. They, they knowledgeable, so they, before they went back to school, so it'd be knowledgeable, that price been paid for your future. You don't just think about basketball. You want to go back and study. And, and a price been paid with murder, with hanging, with lynching. All so this generation can have a better future than their great grandparents. So this is this is what my project was. I didn't talk about it. It was solution. And plus the community, the community supported it. The community. My community in Zion, Northern Illinois, they supported me. It wasn't no certain group. I put it out there in the community put their money behind me, and we was able to go free. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we're talking with uh, Brother Willie Brooks, uh, an entre entrepreneur from Zion, Illinois. And as I mentioned at the top of the program, he's also a community activist, and he and his wife are elders uh, in, in the church. 
and we're talking about solutions to youth development. Uh, but Brother Willing, role models for youth are very important, right? And I think you are a role model uh, in Zion. Well, uh, that's where the story started. Uh, I started doing that, and then in the midst of me starting this, that was on the 7th of July. They ran, and on the 20th of July, they broke into my concession stand. But the police put out uh, uh, on their Facebook that I was a role model in the city. I was trying to do good in the city, and they broke in my, uh, m- the same kids broke in my shop. They burglarized my shop. The same kids the you're same trying kids to help. But I understand their blindness. they blind. They blind. We have two forces out here. We have a God force and an evil force. Mm-hmm. So the evil force didn't want me to take these boys. They didn't want their eyes on. They want to see them in penitentiary outfits. They want to see them with their hands behind their back. But I didn't come that way. I, it, the break-in really helped me because people didn't see what I was trying to do, and people gave to the vision. I noticed that uh, uh, the newspapers covered it uh, well. I mean, uh, I saw an article just today that yeah. uh, the news sign uh, gave you uh, an opportunity. Well, news sign and also the... Um, Zion Ben, Zion Ben, Zion Ben. Uh, 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 NBC came out, done a story on me. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, one man can change a nation. And by doing that, uh, uh, the whole Lake County saw what you were doing, and you got uh, really monetary support, right? A monetary and physical, spiritual and monetary support. But what's so what's so uh, so much about this? Well, I really. Um, uh, elated about it mm-hmm. is because it wasn't the support did not come from people who said they church people. Oh, people came from normal people, regular working people in Lake County came up and helped me with this project and sold into what I was doing. Mm-hmm. I was looking for a certain color of people. Yeah, I think that was coming to help me. None came, what? but God sent the people. So it, God don't have a color. He sent. He said have a purpose and good provision for what his, for his uh, his vision. So he sent the people. I'm thankful for who he sent. Uh, I, I thank God for the people he sent because they didn't have no other term than murder. They want to see these children's eyes open. Brother Willie, I hope that uh, uh, the pastors all over the, the Tri-Cities are listening because you have the solution uh, to our youth. Instead of shooting uh, each other, uh, then uh, there's an opportunity to learn more about uh, African American history. Now, how important you mentioned about DuSable Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. How important is the knowledge of African American history? To the you youth? have to know your history, and nobody teach you your history. More history got to come out of your parents or your community. Mm-hmm. They teach you your history, mm-hmm. and then you'll know the price that been paid. That, uh, that we were drugged into this country. We were drugged out of houses and lynched. It, even when I was born, there was hanging Negroes when I was born. Wow. And they was uh, making us work as slaves when I was born. So if you know all that, then you value your future. You won't just throw away your education. We had to fight to get educated. We had to fight the boat. All these things happened before you got here. You take now, now they just think it's a, a certain privilege. It's a privilege because someone before us paid the price. Mm-hmm. So that's why I tell them your future been paid for. Get all you can out of your future. I just wanted to be a bellhop. I just want to work on a train and be a red uh, sky cap, whatever it was. That's all I've seen. But they can be an architect. They can be an engineer. They can be whatever they got to be because we have price been paid through slave labor, through uh, uh, labor, of, of uh, through a prayer, much prayer, through uh, being discrimination. We had to come to all that for these young generation. And all they want to be is a basketball player. I say it's a tool to get you where you go, but don't focus on that. One knee hurt, that's not it. People uh, don't realize it, but uh, there were slaves that built the White House, and oh, now we oh, got yeah. uh, 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 we got an African American living in the uh, White House. Well, that's what I say. They, it's been so smooth. They think this is normal. Mm-hmm. It's a big. It's big to us who knew racism and, and came out of racism and came out of. Uh, but discrimination, where we couldn't even vote, we couldn't even go eat in a restaurant. They could stop wherever they want. Yeah. We couldn't even stop on the road. So the solution to all this is visibility. Mm-hmm. If we be visible and then put visible and then speak positive to our children, to our youth. So we talking about black lives matter, all that. But it really comes down, you you fueling 
You feel in a generation that need a voice. So I'm coming through the county with, with truth. Mm -hmm. Truth draw people. It's not a color I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with a spirit, and I come here with truth. So I'm, all lives matter, right? All lives matter. But mm -hmm. right now is when we come with truth. I'm not gonna just get on, and, and I'm trying to open eyes. Open eyes, you got to come with truth. People are not giving me money just to be uh, for kids just to be talking. I'm getting money just to talk to kids. I'm getting money because I'm taking them somewhere and showing them what they can be, and they're able enough to they can be put their hand on what you can do and what people couldn't do. So when I do that, that's a solution. Okay, what we, we're in a visual world right now. Books are great. But now you hear, you got earphones, you got visual, everything is big. Everybody got an iPad, iPod, their phone, they all see cartoons, this year. So what we have to get in a visual world is showing our children the generation that was and what is and what we can feel. Ladies and gentlemen, again, the excitable, exemplary person that you're listening to this morning is uh, Brother Willie Brooks. Uh, Willie Brooks is a regular on Community Focus because he brought uh, solutions uh, to a problem. In other words, uh, Brother Willie, uh, you're teaching the young uh, not to be just employees, but employers. Well, I come with, don't, beyond. it's called Beyond the Limit. Limit, you've been limited when you got here. Maybe your mother didn't own a single parent home. You limit to economic, you limit to a block, you limit to, to where you can go, where you can't go. A lot of limitations. I come to break the limits, beyond the limits. They're in a, living in a world now you can think. China, you can go to China in one day, you go to Asia, you can go where I couldn't even imagine. You can fly to California and come back beyond the limits. The limitation of who your father and your mother was is beyond that with what they have available and in front of them. So That's this the is now a global society. A now, global society. It's not just a, a Zion or block by block. So, so, so next I'm gonna take them down to uh down to the, the money where they, they trade money at. This, where they trade stock, the stock market, so they see how money is traded, yeah. and money around in your pocket is not money. You yeah. don't get money, you got to get power, you got to have money. And money, you got to have stocks. So traveling outside the Tri-Cities are so important, right? It's, uh, the world is not North Chicago, Waukegan, and Zion. Many kids get out of school in, 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 uh, in June. And they never leave the neighborhood. Mm. They ride their bike back and forth to the park. They never go on vacation. They never go nowhere. So if I can open their eyes in the summer, and so in the winter and the fall months, that I can open their eyes in the summer, they're going and want to learn. They want to be something because they've seen something they want to be. And I want to do this on a regular basis, take them where they never can go by the limitation of their mother or their parents or their or they living experience. Brother Willie, uh, they saw you in... Uh Years ago, uh, in Lake Forest. Yeah. And you're probably the only businessman there in Lake Forest. Well, I took the boys down to Lake Forest uh, uh, a couple of months ago, took a couple of them down there, and opened their eyes. They didn't know people could live like that. They never seen houses like that. They never seen a beach like that. They they, they was amazed just, mm -hmm. just to go to Lake Forest. And it's a norm to me and you. It's you and I. It's just a norm. But they, it's, it's like they went to Hollywood. You think yeah. they went to Hollywood? I mean, mine. They, they were, I said, man, this is a norm. I used to work here every day. But right now, we got to go It was solution. We got to be visible. The men need to be visible. Not the pastor. It's not the church. It's not the school system. It's men. It's men in our community need to be visible and speaking life to our sons and our boys and our other boys in the neighborhood who have the fatherless. The fatherless boy need men speaking visible, positive message to them. They're going to graduate. They're going to be good grade. They're going to pull their parents up. You're going to work. You're going to have a family. You're not going to die before you get it. I'm speaking the solution. is speaking positive to our next generation. And it's more than just uh, being... Uh uh, cutting grass and and so forth and lake forests and so forth. Uh, there, there's there's a great opportunity. Well, this is what I'm open up now. I'm gonna try to talk some business place so we can get some of them some jobs next summer. So they can at least be apprentice or go in and and see how see how you work. I mean, we can go in the office and see how they be working in the office. Go in there and see how they working. We don't have to work, but get them at least get their mind focused on working. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is fantastic. Uh, and hopefully, have you tried, we have so many organizations, we have the uh, uh, fraternities and sororities, you know, and we got the, all the churches, but if have you ever tried to uh, talk with the, oh, I don't know, the head of the Ministerial Alliance and the presidents <clears throat> of these organizations and, and, and sell your program to them? Uh, no, it, it's this program is bigger than them. They, uh, they, lim they limit it. 
They limited what they what they limited what uh, uh, they can expose people to, and it all comes back to them. Everything I'm doing should come back to God. I'm godly man. Everything should lead to God. Organizations are limited. They got limited funds. They got limited a limited okay. ability. Everybody want the glory, okay. but nobody want to do the stirring. Okay. Well, uh, on your T-shirt there it says, "Total man surviving, fighting, walking, living." And this is what you're doing. I, I, I've been through hell. I'm, I'm a total man. I'm still living. I get to come back. I get to help a generation. Mm-hmm. I should have been dead, but I got it. I, God gave me ability to help these young boys open their eyes. Mm-hmm. Who open the blind eyes? Who go back and get them? I go. Mm-hmm. Who will go salute? Who will go back and get them without trying to control them? I want to be them, but I also want, I also want to impart to them they have a future. And I, people outside this community see what you're doing. He's, help, he, he's lending a helping hand. A helping hand. And, not and guide, so that's not guiding you to my you. church. Not trying to get you as a member and control your life. Okay. I want to open up their mind where they can go to school and learn. And without putting them in a box, it, we are free to learn. And they, once we love them, if I can love on them, then they see me as a mentor. Somebody loved me when I was blind. This man comes along and gives me, encourage me every day. So mm-hmm. I deal with this every day. I'm dealing with boys, but it's a lot of girls need the same love. Mm-hmm. We get in church and we sit down and shout and jump, but we forget we was old Richard. We was no good. We was a wrench. We was no good. We had we had some, we still ain't perfect. So mm-hmm. we get in here and sit down, but some of us need to go back and, and grab some of these kids. Mm-hmm. So that's my solution. Let's not talk about who didn't come. It's not their assignment. Some people, not, it's not their assignment to do what I'm doing. I'm assigned to do this. But some people are assigned to be educated. Somebody, but my assignment is to stir up other men, uh-huh. men that's sitting there kissing the pastor and kissing everybody and kissing babies and come in watching the women and come out here and try to speak life in these young men. But what the brother Willie is not love the answer. It got only, the only commandment was love, but real love. We we do some he, love. Right. I love you while I see you. Then then you want to hate me when I do something. Okay. As long as you control me, as long as you somebody somebody can control me, they love me. But when I step out and say, Jesus say, if you do what I say, you gonna be hated because I ain't hated. Yeah. So if you hate me what I'm doing, I don't <clears> care. <throat> but I see the love of the kids' eyes. Mm-hmm. The little kids, I see the love when I give them some water. When I took them to on the bus, I took them to all you eat restaurant with a knife, a spoon, and a fork, and they got to eat all that they want. Not as long as they want, but they got to eat all they want. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I seen the eyes open. I seen the ability. Somebody loved me, and they put me on a bus and put a a a, a, a real greyhound top me a luxury bus mm-hmm. with a TV on it. They never been there before. I took them to a level that they never been before. But we want to preach and y'all to teach them. We got to first give them visual, show them love. They can learn. Fantastic. And uh, you not only took them down to see the <clears throat> DuSable Museum of Science and Industry. It just blew their mind. It blew their mind. Yeah, I, I'm I'm a follow up on them and and see and this year go by the schools and check on them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And see how what, what more can I do? But well, I got some more plans. I want to teach them how to be a man. First, we got we got to learn hygiene. We need to, how mm-hmm. to wear clothes, different cultures, where they can go, how to how to act as growing up a teenager in the, multicultural society. The total man. The total man. Yeah, right, we got to show them the total man. We can't mm-hmm. just have one side because they think it's all basketball. It's learning. It's dressing. Mm-hmm. You got to have your hygiene. Certain things you got to have to walk in certain rooms. Otherwise, people will limit limit your ability to be in the room. You're teaching them, <clears throat> or showing them, being a role model. They can. They should be an entrepreneur. The right? entrepreneurs. I have some of them working for me. I'm wa- some of them watch me how I work. Next year, I hope. I hope I. Uh, I believe in God. He open more doors where so I can put them in. Put them to work, and let them work these stands. And trust them. Let them work these stands. Well, what about uh, the solution to gun violence? Uh, we gun- recently had uh, uh, the famous uh, basketball player. His cousin was just had four children. Walking her uh, youngest uh, down the street, and she got a bullet that was not designed for her. Uh, so it's really no gun violence. You know, I mean, I'm not for Donald Trump. I'm not pu- pushing up inform- But he said the other week. He said all that can be done in one week. They can kill all the violence. And then two days later, because uh, she killed him, uh, Wade, they caught the guys and put him in jail. Two days later, but how about if she didn't have Wade with her cousin? They would never caught him. 
Oh, okay. So now they caught the guys that did it in two days. Mm. If Wade wasn't a cousin and the world was talking about it, they would they could have been gang violence. We can't catch them. So it's not the gun. It's the see. It's the system. We we'll put the guns in their hand. You know what I'm saying? You keep letting them go in, letting them come out. But it's not the gun. It's no fault of the people. You're going to always have guns. They was killing people with Al Capone. They was killing people when I was born. It was massacres back in Al Capone, back in the, when they killed all the Indians. We don't talk about all that massacre. When the Indians, they ran up and killed the whole Indian, killed all his family in this same area. They massacred Indians in this same area. Uh, the Powhati Indians, they massacred them up there on Green Bay Road. So it ain't just start. All of a sudden, now we, we highlight like it just came on earth. They been masking people. Ladies and gentlemen, Brother Willie Brooks has been demonstrating that knowledge is power. That's power. So what solution is open our kids' eyes and, and don't let the world dictate what we say. Mm-hmm. We let the, the devil come two things, kill, steal, and destroy. Okay. After he do something, then he got what he killed our, our faith in God. Mm-hmm. But after that, we kill it. We go to talking to you like the world. It's a gun. It's racism. It's the devil. What's the devil have us change our land? Our faith go right away. Man, these, uh, the gun killed somebody. I'm nine people got killed down in, uh, in North Carolina. They blame the gun. They blame the Confederate flag. They never blame the devil. Mm-hmm. Nobody mm-hmm. blamed it. So he get us. He, he killed our faith in what we believe. Because right away we say what the world say. Uh, the gun, uh, the flag killed them people in North Carolina. No, a, a man killed them who was possessed by the devil. Mm. And we say nothing. But we say we're Christians. Mm-hmm. We say we know the Bible. We know every scripture. But we know it's two people out there. It's two spirits out there. Either the devil or God. Okay. Two of the devil. Choose you this day. Yeah. Who who you will follow. Yes. You, you, and that's what we have. But we came in here. By, we A lot of us are the son of the devil. And we don't want to talk about he's the son of the devil. He ain't no good in him. Mm-hmm. But we see your father. I'm talking about my best friend. <clears throat> So actually, uh, the devil, uh, Satan, uh, Lucifer, whoever you want to call him, he was kicked out of heaven. And not only he uh, was kicked out of heaven, but a third of the angels followed him. But he gave him authority on earth. He got authority. Mm-hmm. He got some authority on earth. Mm-hmm. So he's in the mind of many of us. Mm-hmm. And we had to watch it because of the trick by the enemy. And so mm-hmm. the, like the guys broke in my store. They said, what they do to him, Brother Willie? I said, you know what? They were possessed by the devil when they did it. And I still take them on the bus with me because I believe I came for light. And truth comes down the street right now when he's hollering out, police killing black, black. But truth got to come down to gather the people. Mm-hmm. And you see some truth right now, you gather. That's how the people gathered around me because I was truth. I wasn't speaking nothing but truth. Okay. I come with love. Okay. One thing I come down the street and down with love. That's the one of the reasons why you touch the hearts of so many people. Love. Because the ones that broke in your place, you offered them an opportunity to go on the trip. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why not? They uh, it's, only, it's only 12 years old, right? They, he, hey. They, they he had been possessed by the devil. They was, they, they, you come in the world, right when you hit the world, he grabs you. You come in the evil way and say, he renewed my mind. I had to be renewed from something. I had Satan had to grab me when I came into you know, I was birthed in this evil world. Mm-hmm. I had a simple mind. Mm-hmm. I was I had a simple mind. It wouldn't come when you're 12, 15. When, whoop, when you're out here, you got a simple mind. You get it early. You forgot everything you taught when you came from heaven. In between heaven and the and the and the womb mm-hmm. and the earth. In the womb you have, but when you get to earth, you came into an evil world. How do we get back into the grace of God? Showing love and come out of man, let me all boils down to love. Come back to love. If we can love our children while they bad, uh-huh. they can turn good. Okay. They can turn out good. It was love. But what we uh do, uh wanna warehouse them. Well, we warehouse them and we talk just like the rest of them. You gonna be nothing, be like your daddy. That, that, oh, we okay. use all them terminology like the world, but we say we're Christian. I got to, even no matter I have agape love, I, no matter what they do to me, I, I'm commanded to love them. Okay. So the kids know no better. And, the, and the, uh, I have to love them because they never seen love. They seen somebody dictate love, but they never see love as a spirit. They know I love them when I come around, that brother Willie. Because they know I care about them. I'm here every day. I'm not coming not come to my church. Okay. I'm here every day. I love on them. Love on them. They can tell love. Anybody, You love a dog. You're in the house. The dog knows you love him. When you come and jump up in your arm. If you don't love me, jump up and bite you. 
Okay. <laughs> a dog. That's the spirit of a dog. He no love you. Come on here, put your put. He jump up in your arms when mm-hmm. he see you because he know you're going to love him. Same mm-hmm. way with children. Now, these young boys, they never had the voice of a man. They never had love. The voice of a man is missing in the earth. Mm-hmm. The man's voice. We go to church, we hear one man, but the man's voice of men is, ne- is not in the air because we quiet. We work some slaves. We can't say nothing. Let some man tell me to say something. This is a I'm fan, free, 2016. Fantastic. I'm free. And I'm going to do the will of God. I'm, I, I, all two things I can do is go uh, die and go to heaven or keep doing what I got to do. Mm-hmm. My assignment is to open blind eyes. Mm-hmm. Don't lead them nowhere. Lead them to him. Well, I, got, I have to congratulate you. You have a, a great mission, and you are fulfilling your mission. And uh, so your, your ultimate goal, I guess, is to continue doing what you're doing, right? Continue, not just bring them out, but then teach them. Teach them how to be a total man. Mm-hmm. That's what it comes down to. They don't have the ear or the, they don't have the voice of the father. He gave Adam a voice. Okay. Now we got we got uh, Eve raising the boys. It's not it's not the man's voice have been quiet. What happened to Adam? He got the commandment and uh, and he just allowed Eve to. Uh... He did like we do. We sit back and let Henry be president. We sit back and let women run every time, and we say nothing. We say nothing. We he gave us a voice. He put his voice in man. Okay. Male man. Okay. We say nothing now. We don't let the world shut our mouth. Mm-hmm. We speak what the world is speaking. We want to give you in. We lock you up in a room. If you come to my church, you speak in my church. And outside world are dying. The people outside right around me dying for lack of a world. Jesus yeah. came and fed the five thousand. Then put them in the church. He put them in the field. Okay. He didn't ask you got to be a member of my church. He spoke to the multitude. And Jesus never had an address, right? He had no address. He was out uh, healing the sick, raising the dead. And well, that's, just what, that's the when sick. I'm right out in the park. In the park. Uh, there's no address to it. So they're, get, not, they, they're not following Jesus' teaching. They're following a voice. Right now, they look. the world's looking for a voice, a pure voice with truth. Do you think Jesus come back to the church? He come back to the world. He come back in the world to the world. But we think he come back to save people. He come back and get his lost in the world. They want him here. They want him here until you see him face to face. They seeing a man come through Northern Illinois with a voice and speaking <coughs> love. All I'm speaking is love to the parents, to the child. Everywhere I go, is no color with love. It's not a black white love. Okay. Love has no color. Okay. It has truth. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you very much for taking time from your busy schedule to listen to Community Focus, where we've been talking to Brother Willie Brooks, uh, entrepreneur from Zion, Illinois, community activist, and uh, with the solutions to youth development. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Community Focus. My name is Dr. Waddell Brooks, Sr., your host.